guys, it's Megan here with Megabuck Savings and I'm gonna share today with you guys my Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, evening, or whatever time you're watching this video. And this is just gonna be a video of things that I've gotten um, that I need in my home for my kitchen and for my son's play area. And then I'm getting some um, Easter basket stuff ready and some garden stuff ready as well. So come along with me while I share my item. So the first thing I got was this carrot. It's a door hanger. And I thought it would be fun to paint, in, paint it orange and green with my son. And I thought that would be a nice craft for him. Also for his play area set, he has a little play area with some kitchen stuff. I have a DIY uh, video where I made his kitchen set in the link below and I thought this was the cutest idea to add these little kitchen tools to the set that he has over there and just hang them up and I thought it would be cute to get these tongs and these are actually great these uh, for motor skills that he can use to pick up items with it and I thought this would just be really fun to play with and hang it up on his uh, up above behind his kitchen set. I also got this spoon, the whisk, the spatula, this ladle, and then I got for my kitchen so I got this spatula and then this kind of this uh, scoop or spoon type spatula and a potato peeler. I needed this one because the one that I've had, I have of a potato peeler and a pizza cutter and they are both very dull so I do need to end up getting a pizza roller eventually as well but I thought I would get a matching set from the Dollar Tree. It's just by the Betty Crocker brand. And then I did pick up this chicken bouillon broth, um, but it's not in the cubes, it's just the powdered form. And it just says to mix one cup of water with one cup of broth. So I thought we would try that. And it's by Leaping Leopard. I got the caramel maple candle. These, um, are in the mason jars. They have them in all sorts of scents, but I like the caramel maple one. I got the paintbrushes for the carrots. I got this little fun game for my son's Easter basket. It's just a ring tossing game. I got these for his, these dum-dums for his Easter basket, Easter basket as well. I got this LED projector light. It's the dinosaur one. They had the Halloween ones last fall. Um, so I thought this would be really cute for an Easter basket item. You just uh, put the batteries in it. I think it takes AAA batteries. And then you actually, it takes two AA batteries. Um, nope, I lied. It does take two AAA batteries. So then you just, at nighttime, put it on your wall and you can take it as far as close as you want or far as back as you want to make it as big or small and the farther you go back the more blurry it gets but it's really fun for the kids. Then I got another thing of this Satural Iodized Salt and I just refill these in my salt shaker. I got two of these Eco Gang Flossing Floss Picks. And they are in the charcoal color, which is like that black. It says it's double threaded and it's charcoal infused. So I did get two of those and I'm just gonna put them in my, my bathroom in a jar on the counter. I think it would just really look cute. And then I'll show here with you as well, I did get some Dollar Tree um, paper liner for inside my drawers so I will put in that clip here so all I'm doing here is just taking everything out of the drawers in my bathroom 
underneath my bathroom sink and I have six total drawers and then uh, a cupboard in between where the sink is. So I uh, wanted to empty this stuff out beforehand because I have um, not only just to clean it out but also because I have old Dollar Tree um, like sticky underlayment for the sink and for the drawers so you see here it's just that blue they have blue and gray at the Dollar Tree and it's like almost always in stock still and um, this is a really great renter friendly option and a homeowner option as well but only really I would suggest it if you if the cupboards on the inside aren't painted nor are they like 50 some years old where it might be kind of pulling up when you have to ever take that sticky stuff out. So as long as your cabinets on the inside are fairly well shaped, this would be a great project because it does lay easily and then it also comes off easily as well. Just make sure you clean it really well before you put anything down and then of course taking it off, just be very careful when taking it off. But as you could have see, could see, it was really easy to take the old stuff off and I literally put it up two years ago. So all I'm doing is just, I just measured, as you see there, that I was measuring the inside of the drawer before I went ahead and cut the material, but I just cut it down to size of how I, you know, the measurements of inside the drawer. And I never fully make the exact measurements, but I get pretty close. And so I'm not here for perfection, but I just wanted to update the underlayment or whatever that's called um, in my sink cabinets. So it just helps keep it kind of nice. And um, when it's gooey and gross and stuff like that, it doesn't ruin the drawers. Open up, open up, shut it down like a bag of Open up, open up. Open up, open up, open up, shut it down like a bag of Open up, open up, up here, up here, cold as ice and cold love. Open up. some garlic powder some minced garlic which is always good to have on hand and this I could I'll actually try to find some at a regular grocery store like this and show you the price difference and why I get this stuff at the Dollar Tree over other stores now if they clearance stuff out or put stuff on sales in the normal grocery stores I'll definitely pick up that stuff on the cheaper because it's usually um, cheaper when they clearance it out or put it on sales than it is to go to the Dollar Tree um, but most of the time I just get them at the Dollar Tree then I picked up this premium balsamic vinegar by Leaping Leopard as well and this is really nice to have it's a dollar twenty-five and my thought process on this is because most of the balsamic vinegars that you find in the grocery store are in bigger bar bigger jars and if you don't use this very often and you buy the bigger jar you're going to end up wasting the the stuff anyways and so it's best to buy stuff small like this because then you're not wasting product or wasting money i already took this out of the stack but i got these scotch bright cleaning steel sponges and I like to use these for my um, stainless steel. What are those things on there? Stainless steel? I like to use these for my pans to get the grime up. I wanted to try these tomato rockets. Um, you just put them in the planter and then let it grow and I have some stuff to um, 
some trellises to put on them as well so that way it can grow up I'm not sure if they grow up or not I'd have to take a look at it um, a little bit deeper on here there are instructions on the back but I thought this would be nice to try a tomato plant in a planter box instead of in the ground I'm gonna be starting my garden here next week so I did want to try to get this planted in the planter and see what does better in the planter or in the ground I did um, I get my um, vegetables uh, the seeds at the Dollar Tree as well I got a bunch still on last year that I have on hand and I'm going to do kind of like a bulk garden this year to see what kind of grows and what doesn't um, and I want to use my seeds up but you get four for a dollar which is a really good deal and I've really had pretty good success using the stuff from the Dollar Tree um, and then what's nice too is it shows on the back here just like any seeds they should have the zones what zones you should start planting stuff in and um, anyway I picked up the radishes because I wanted to try radishes this year so I have radishes carrots tomatoes cucumbers zucchini um, what else do I have pumpkin squash all of that stuff so I really want to do a plentiful garden this year and then also do some herbs as well so another thing that's good to I'm making a mess here they're leaking everywhere but a, a nice thing to do in your garden when you are planting um, a herb and vegetable garden is to plant um, just like flowers that bees like and so that it helps your garden grow a little bit better so I got these impatience and then I got these marigolds I've heard marigolds really well work well for the um, bees pollinating and that's supposed to help your garden grow better because of the um, the bees pollinating and then I did get some onion powder as well and so I'll fill, refill my jars up with those. And then what else did I get here? I got some jute twine, which is always good to have on hand for a garden. I got a flour sack towel that I wanted to have handy in my kitchen to use for drying off fruits and vegetables or what have you. I got these chalkboard stickers. I use these on top of my mason jars to identify what's in the jar so that if anybody needs to get into them, I also buy the gold ones as well because those are just as useful and then just use a sharpie on top of it. I also wanted to try a 4th of July wreath with one of these. I thought this was the cutest little star and so I do have quite a bit of some crafty um, ribbon to use that I would like to use on this and use up my ribbon that I have on hand and um, I don't know what other ones that they'll be coming out with, but I did see that other people on their hauls were doing, uh, showing the different ones that they got with different shapes. So I think they're coming out with a lot of different shapes now, which will be really fun to create more wreaths. And then I got two chopping nuts. I've never tried these before, so it'll be interesting to see how they turn out, but I wanted to try to get rid of my bigger one because it's just so it's, like huge and to try to um, come down on space wise um, stuff and so I got one for me and then I got one for my daughter's kitchen downstairs so I did get a few other things but I've already opened them so I got some barbecue sauce some ketchup those are some items that I always get at the Dollar Tree as well because they're just great um, cheap items that usually you can get cheaper at the Dollar Tree now even though they raise their prices up to $1.25 I can get Hunt's um, ketchup there for cheaper still than I can get at a regular grocery store. Usually it's only about 50 cents cheaper going to the Dollar Tree than the normal grocery store, um, but it does still save money. And like I said, if anything ever clearances out or goes on a, a big sale at my grocery store, I will stock up then. But in between then, then I just go to the Dollar Tree to get those items again because they're really nice <laughs> stock up items and for cheap. So that completes my haul. I hope you like it. If you give it a big thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate it. And leave a comment below on your 
stuff that you're finding at the Dollar Tree and what you're getting this spring. Thanks for watching.